Hey, what's up guys? So this video is um, to document my first attempt at routing my Galaxy Nexus. Uh, I've been looking around at videos on how I can route um, the Galaxy Nexus on OS X Lion and I didn't see many guides out there so I decided to document my own journey through this. So right here I have a um, unrouted Galaxy Nexus running just stock ice cream sandwich version 4.0.2 um, build number ICL 53F okay so this is just a regular stock Galaxy Nexus um, so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and turn the phone off and I will be using this guide right here. Uh, I'll post a link in the uh, description. I've looked around for v various methods of doing this. Um, I've looked at uh, the toolkit version 5.5 .5, but I've decided that um, since that doesn't work on the Mac I've, I've decided to go with uh, this method. So the first thing we need to do is to unlock the bootloader. So if you haven't already done so, you need to uh, download the Android SDK. Um, I'll provide the link in the bottom. And once you've done that, uh, unzip the Android SDK and you get um, something that looks, looks like that. Initially, this folder called Platform Tools is going to be empty. So what you're going to want to do is um, you want to load up um, load up the SDK here and update uh, update platform tools so it should be up in a minute here so you can see the SDK manager and um, in my case it's already been installed but um, if you haven't already done so you just want to tick this and click install packages uh, which should install the package for you and then this is what you'll get uh, in particular um, we are interested in these two tools here called the ADB and fastboot so um, I'm just gonna run through the steps here So power off the device, connect USB cable, so that's what I'll do right now. I'm going to connect the USB cable to the phone, and um, open up terminal window, so I have a terminal window open right here. And I will uh, CD to the tools folder. And I'm already in that folder. As you can see, I have ADB and Fastboot here in that folder. I'm going to boot my phone into fast boot mode and to do that I will hold both the volume up and volume down button so typically what I do is I push right in between the volume up and down button and also the power button so I'll hold those down together and that will bring me into fast boot mode hopefully so once you feel the bump, it should be in fast boot mode. Uh, as you can see here, as soon as it focuses, it's fast boot mode. And um, you can barely make it out here, but right at the bottom it says lock state locked. Um, variant Maguro, uh, meaning the GSM version, the uh, Verizon LTE version will say um, Toro, so named after different types of sushi 
and you can see your serial number, baseband version, bootloader version, etc. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, now step G says let's verify that Fastboot can see your device. So, um, in Mac, I'm going to type in Fastboot devices to see the list of connected devices and you can verify that the serial number is the same as on here uh, C011 just checking the last four characters there and 014, 014 here uh, for the three characters so that looks good and so it says here that uh, the next command will completely wipe your internal SD card so make sure that you have everything backed up from the SD card that you need to back up um, I like to use a Swift FTP for that um, it's a little um, Android uh, APK that, that will help you transfer data from your SD card to your computer over Wi-Fi um, I'll put the link to that in the description as well so also please note that after you issue the unlock command, you'll be asked on your phone to acknowledge that you want the bootloader to be unlocked and that you understand that doing so will void your warranty. Use your volume rocker keys to select confirmation and press the power button to actually confirm. Um, oh, by the way, I forget to mention that before I did this, I actually did back up my apps and my app data. Um, I will uh, hopefully make another video on how you can do that without having to root the phone because obviously um, to root the phone I, I would need to unlock the bootloader hence wiping all the data on the phone so um, it'd be nice to be able to do that without rooting it so watch for that video coming up alright so this one command looks like it should unlock the bootloader fast boot OEM unlock and I'm gonna hit enter and you get this screen here asking you to confirm that you indeed want to unlock the bootloader um, you'll be able to install custom operating system blah 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 um, to prevent unauthorized access unlocking the bootloader you will also delete all personal data from the phone in other words, you'll do a factory reset and um, you can select so the touch is inactive now but I can select the options using the volume up and down buttons so and then press the power button to continue so I've selected yes and I will indeed go ahead and press the power button and that's it so bootloader is now unlocked it's really quick and you're ready for your next step. Your phone should still be in fast boot mode at this point. If you simply want to unlock the bootloader and now want to reboot your phone, you can issue fast boot reboot. Um, this a factory reset. Your next reboot after unlocking will take about five minutes to complete. If you're not ready to reboot but need to do other fast boot related operations, um, then it is still in fast boot mode, ready for you. Okay, so um, I'm. I actually do want to um, go ahead and root it, so I'm not going to restart it, otherwise I have to wait about 5 minutes. Uh, there's a blue line here at the bottom here that says um, fastboot status dash OK, so um, I am unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and use this clockword mod method. Um, in order to do that, I had to download two files, one's called suzip and the other is clockwork recovery um, I'll put the links in the description uh, basically uh, su zip is in this folder download clockworkmod.com forward slash test and just click on it and download it and then um, the, uh, the recovery clockwork mod is in the recoveries directory 
um, and I've selected the touch version so I can actually use touch and um, the Maguro image right there. And what you want to do is, um, as the instructions will tell you, you actually want to move both these files, the SU zip and the image file, to the same directory as your ADB tools. So that's what I'll do here. I'll just take these and drag them over to platform tools. So right here, SU zip right there so step A unlock your bootloader we've just done that step B make sure your phone is connected to USB cable which it is place both SU zip and the clockwork mod image in a directory with fastboot and ADB we've already done that it's right here in platform tools um, start up a command prompt uh, Okay, that's for Windows users. Um, if, so, yeah. So the advantage of uh, doing it on Mac is that I don't actually have to install a USB driver to recognize my Galaxy Nexus is already automatically recognized. Um, F. Now at this point, we'll start up Clockwork Mod Custom Recovery. We can either soft boot load it uh, from PC's memory. This method will not replace currently installed recovery partition or flash it override overwrite currently installed stock recovery image. Uh, so I don't actually have a recovery image at this point, I believe. So um, I would probably just do a flash and instructions for GSM, fast boot flash recovery, and then the name of the uh, recovery image. This isn't the most up to date one, so I will uh, replace that with the most up to date one, which I have here in this directory. So after you flash recovery, use volume keys um, to change the recovery mode. Select the mode by pressing power button. Okay, so I'm gonna press enter here, sending recovery. Okay, it's done. And now I will switch to recovery mode, red uh, on here, so push down button. So recovery mode, and then I'll hit the power button. So it looks like I'm now in recovery mode. After you see Clockwork mod, custom recovery appear on your phone. Okay, if you haven't put SU zip in the SD card, then we'll need to push it over to the phone. There's an issue that I finally figured out that Cloud Mod won't mount the data partition, therefore your SD card directory um, won't show up. So from the Cloud Mod recovery screen, select install zip from SD card, so that is the second option right there um, that will take you to apply update from zip file and SD card so like choose zip from SD card uh, choose zip from SD card okay uh, now you see a list of files and the choose a zip to apply screen can't mount SD card. Okay, so what's going on here? So I've, I've tried several things. I've tried to fix permissions, um, wipe Dalvik cache. I've even done a factory reset all to no avail so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the phone now and oh what's it doing now
Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna try. Super boot now. It is unlocked. And all right. Here goes nothing. Change permissions and run the shell. Okay. Um Okay. Um Okay. So it looks like something happened. And um Android is upgrading. Let's just do a factory reset. So, looks like we're done. Now I just need. Okay, so I think we're good. So now I just have to uh, figure out how to install a custom ROM. And once I do that, I'll be back with uh, a new video. Let's just, just wait for this thing to start. I'll make sure it actually worked here. Voila. So, um, let me just sign in here. Well, not now. Want to make sure that super user. Boo yeah. Okay, so got super user there. That means um means I'm rooted. Right. So I'll be back with video on custom ROM. Stay tuned.